Hello people, how are you today? I just want to let you know I probably won't be uploading tomorrow. So I plan on helping my sister move. And that should be fun. Anyway. Hmm, for. So today, maybe I should introduce myself. Take two. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Ashley. Welcome to Just That Weirdo No Sort, or welcome back. How's it going? How's your tea? How's your coffee? How's all that shit? I might not be recording tomorrow, probably not. Helping my sister move and it's gonna be a very busy day. Getting that exercise though. Mm. So today's question is why do they keep showing up? It could be physically or mentally, like they just pop into your head. Typically that's my way of realizing someone's thinking of me. So why do they keep popping up, whatever that means to you? You could be dreaming about them too. He's like, I thought we were talking about that shit. So what what karmic cycle needs to be completed? What do you need to learn from this so they can go away? Or finally move on, whatever that means to you. We have four groups. And a cup of coffee. Coffee. One, two, three, and four. You know the deal, whichever one you're drawn to. Go for it. Timestamps will be in the description box below. And for you mobile users, it'll be in the comments. The first comment you see. Excuse me. If you're on a private reading, one question is $1.11. Three questions, $3.33. Goes up from there. All those details in the description box below. You can request a video response or through email. I'll contact you within... A day or two to let you know when your scheduled day would be. I think that's all. All, all the details in the description box will explain it there too. The video will be sent to you. A private video, private video link will be sent to you on your scheduled day. And if you did I mention if your scheduled day changes, I'll let you know. I just woke up, pardon me. <laughs> anyway, let's just jump right into it. Yeah. Group one, so why do they keep showing up? What do you need to learn? Got power. Ace of Pentacles. They don't. You don't have that. They just nope the fuck out. It's pinnacles, unrequited love. You could be seeing a lot of force. <laughs> it's just a nope today. <laughs> we can do this. Last time I'm trying, if not, this falls again. Switching angles. Unrequited love. That's, there's not, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Playful. You got 44 here, which is, uh, said you might be seeing a lot of fours. So those fours, they don't show up by a coincidence. Austera fertility. This is the perfect time for you to start new projects, new access, access new ideas, and convert to new conditions. With, when I started reading this, I felt you like I'm trying to start something new, but here they are. Guess he's back. Back again. I'm just waiting for it to fall again. And then centering. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll be back, I'm switching angles. And we are back at, and I can barely see what's going on up there, so hopefully. 
Flight to go. With this, I'm feeling like this is a hand that's offering you something. Ace of Pentacles is like an offering, a new opportunity, a new beginning of something. It's like they offered you something and maybe it's the just next card here. This could also be about self-worth. Like it could have been a relationship where it was very playful. A lot of just friends with benefits, hooking up, laughs, playful. Not a lot of romance. You could have had feelings or they could have had feelings and it wasn't returned. And you might could have been pining after them for a while. Just saw one one one. Look that up, that might mean something to you. Could resonate with your situation. Anyway, and it's maybe you're still attempted. Maybe a part of you would want something you can't have. Why? Maybe because in a way you are scared of this commitment. Maybe this commitment with, commitment with this other person because you go after someone you can't have because you know they won't love you the way you deserve therefore you don't have to face that therefore you know you don't have to fully be vulnerable and have be a, give them the chance to love you back the way you know they will you get what i'm saying in that sense you're still living in the victim mentality where oh they don't love me i deserve better I'm not going after what I want. I hope this is making sense to someone. The year presented this new opportunity. When I was reading this card, I really hurt. It's like, I'm trying to start with someone new. But, uh, bing, here they are. Like clockwork. What else can I tell you about the situation? Got wishing. Just throw it down. Okay. Wishing. Strength. Let it go. This is spirit. Maybe a part of you just hasn't moved past the relationship. You feel you have, but it's still a spiritual connection. Some kind of something that you didn't get closure on. Could have just been closure of why the hell you treat me like this? By the way, 4422. You'd be seeing those repeating numbers. What lesson do they need to learn? Got two be strong cards, three really. Power, strength, be strong. This is about self-worth and knowing what you deserve and knowing you deserve better than the way they treated you and telling them this. Telling them to stop treating people like a bag of smashed assholes. You're strong enough, you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So, you have to ask yourself, did I deserve that? Do I deserve to continue to do that? Don't be mad at yourself for going with that. By the way, I just seen 444. So you could be seeing them fourth. So did I deserve that? Is this an outcome I want to experience again? Is anything gonna change? 
with you yes with them well just with you two together probably not You are stronger than you realize, than you think you are. You deserve more than you think you do. The quote from uh, Perks Being a Wallflower, we accept the love we think we deserve. That's running through my head. That could be your favorite quote. I love that quote because it is so true. What you settle for is what's going to keep happening. It's time for you to transform. You're experiencing an enormous change right now, which brings you great blessings. You could also be seeing a lot of fives. Five means change. So you're probably having a spiritual awakening or just realizing some shit and they came back and it's something you need to heal. So really ask yourself, dig deep. How do they make me feel? How is it different with this other person? If there is another person or a new opportunity, is something new happening where that card and that voice came through? This is something I can only give you a general message to make you dig deep because it's something you have to, it's personal. All these are going to be personal. You have to dig deep and find out what's really going on, what really happened, what the, just, what's the tea. I don't say that. Why do I keep saying that? You deserve this true love here. The, rom the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. It could be this person, like the new person coming in, the new opportunity. But you can only truly love them if you love yourself and heal all past wounds. It's not going to work out if you just put a slap a band-aid over it, a slap a band-aid over a gash that's bleeding, it's hemorrhaging. You gotta duct tape it or super glue. <laughs> Hospitals do use super glue. But you really have to get in there stitch by stitch. And it's going to hurt. Anything else I can tell you? You're stepping into a new light, new power, new power, strength, transformation. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. And your clear intentions could be unconditional love. You could be manifesting twin flame, soulmate, life partner, person, whatever that means to you. Love yourself and love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. This is saying, forgive yourself for not seeing what was really going on in the past, with the past situation, with the past karmic person. You made the decisions you made with the limited knowledge that you had at the time. There's no need to be pissed off about that. Why are you going to be dwelling in the past? You can't change that. You, the future is now, like every second, actually. Think about that. Future is every second <laughs> that, you know, time it takes by. It's the future. Mind blowing. You can't go back in time. You can only move forward. If you had any piece of advice you could give this person, what would it be? And it better not be. You shouldn't have done it. Could be that this bullshit isn't going to last forever. You don't deserve that. And now it's time for you to move up to something better. Something that you truly deserve. This unconditional love. Can I conclude this on? Now is the time to make a decision. What that decision is, it's personal. Like, do you want to go back to this or do you want to move to this? Where you might have thought this situation was this. But now you know different, differently. Now you know what's, what's what, what's really going on. So just open your heart to love the past, love what you went through. It might be some bullshit, it might be some dark shit. Guess what? You're still standing now. You are still here. Now's the time to just take charge of your life, take the reins, but go with the flow. 
go with the current. I used to steer the ship, but if you know that's in a direction you don't want it going in, just <laughs> like you know, go. You didn't see me. I'm turning the wheel over here. <laughs> Anything else? So this is a reminder, literally. Then coming back is a reminder of what you went through, what you need to heal, what you need to work on. You might be wondering, how is it going to be with this new person, this new opportunity? Let's find out. One card to represent what it's going to be like with this new human's person, new opportunity, whatever. Bright future. Stop worrying, everything's going to be fine. And independence. Your independence is a foundation for, for your strength and success. This goes with this strength and power card. You are taking your power back. You are moving forward, going in the right direction, and it's a golden opportunity. This is on the bottom of the deck. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Or you just die through them, you know, whatever. That is all I have for you, you beautiful peoples. Thank you for watching. If you're private reading, all those details will be in the description box below. Hope you have a nice day. Bye. Group two. Why do they keep showing up? What do you need to learn? Got adventure. There's a. Sorry to come in. They wanted you to have a good time. It's something to do with playful, having fun, being yourself, getting in touch with your inner child again. Three of Wands, in reverse, past life relationship, in reverse. That would make sense. This could be a new soul, baby soul, young soul, whatever you want to call it, infant soul. So they're just here to have fun, experience like they're alive. So they'd be doing some crazy ass shit. Individuality, endings and beginnings. That's accurate and appropriate for this. And discernment. Not saying, not seeing, not here. I not hear that cat meowing at the door. She's going in the heat and she's being very needy. Is that wrong of me? Probably. But it is what it is. This is my time, you know? Okay. They could be showing up again because you've lost that sense of you're taking shit too seriously again. It might have been obnoxious with their childish tendencies. Like literally stomping their foot, throwing a fit when you had a fight. I would just find that funny. Anyway, I think they're back because you need to have that sense of adventure again. You need to have fun. The old must be released so that the new can enter. This card, I'm getting the past bullshit that you keep bringing up. Like past life drama, junk, just that nitty gritty darkness that's still lingering in your life. You gotta cut those cords. It ends with you. Those cycles. I don't think this is necessarily a bad karmic. You could be like, oh hell no, she don't know what she's talking about. She did not meet them. I don't think they're back for like a negative reason. How about that? What can I tell group two about what they need to learn? I just heard you need to have more fun. You're too serious. You could be some of those earth signs. So serious. Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. What else? Get okay, the arts. Express yourself through creative activities, having fun. Some yeah. I feel like you could have went and sang karaoke with this person. Is that it? 
or just had fun like that going out to a bar and just dancing and doing what you do at a bar I was, oh. I'm a hermit let me alone <laughs> medicine woman Ixchiel. you are a channel for divine healing power you could be so wrapped up in your work that you forgot to adventure you need to adventure in your life what else do you need to know? thank you Purification is time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. This is screaming, have fun. See all the colors and shit? She's taking a bath in a rainbow. Do it. One more from the stack. What else can I tell? Group three. That's two. See how they did that? They're having fun. Like you need to. Peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So with this situation and this person, just go with the flow. You don't have to like, if it was a relationship or a magic relationship, you don't have to get back with them. Just, you know, maybe have fun. Guiding children. You are a good, you are a good, you are good at helping counseling and healing children. You're just skills to help children now. This could have been this children. This person could have been this children that you were healing and helping and or that could be your job now. Tail group two. Can I tell group two? Does group two need to know? What do they need to heal to work on? This is about creativity, passion, having fun. Good. What? If you were on your deathbed today, what would be one thing that you wish you did that you have not done yet? I asked my mom this and she said whitewater rafting. I'm like, okay, I'm down. I ask Lauren, my sister. Let's see. Lauren's down too. We're going to go whitewater rafting one day. Well, me, I want to do everything, by the way. I just probably just seen 555. Five. You could. That's change. What else you need? If a five card jumps out, that'd be hilarious. Justice in reverse. You could be dealing with the Libra or fire sign. Six of cups. Childhood. Childish. Trying to get more information so it's less centered and more general, but it's mainly just saying, have fun. What can this tell group two? Can I tell group two? Faith listening so have faith that just listen to your guide listen to your soul listen to your guides if you hear them what are they saying about the situation maybe that you don't want to hear maybe it's your guides voice can sound like your voice but you know it's not yours typically more gentle more forceful that's a contradiction but Gently forcing. <laughs> well, and ancestors is over there in the corner. Ancestors gonna have to stay there. You got power, intention, balance. You, you lost your balance between the power and the play. It's time for change. That is the main message I'm getting here. And that's probably all I'm gonna get. That might be for one specific person or if multiple people's resonated with the person that came back as playful and childish and annoying as hell and too damn annoying for... It's like you're an old soul dealing with a baby, an infant soul. A lot of patience. And a lot of alone time you need. Been there, done that.
can I get? Uh, group two. There's beauty in every experience. Maybe you lost sight of that and you're so focused on building your career, career, working, making money, making that dope. She forgot to stop and listen to listen to the birds, listen to what the flowers are saying, and just having fun. Being at peace in your situation, being at peace in nature. Just living and breathing. It's like you're so tightly wound, you're not actually breathing. It's really not good for you. Breathe. That was all you need to know. I hope it resonated. Resonated. I hope you liked it. And I hope you would take something from it. Every situation is going to be personal and you're going to have to dig deep to find what their true meaning is. I hope I just guided you in the right direction to figure out those thoughts. To get those thoughts. To help you. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, if you want a private reading, one question is $1.11, three questions, $3.33, everything is in the description box below. And if you want to find me on social media, that's in the description box below too. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye. Well, oh, sorry. Group three. Why do they keep showing up? What do you need to learn? At peace. Ten of cups in reverse. Express your love. High Priestess of Air, Focused Intention, and Expression. I feel like this could be a friend or just someone that keeps popping into your mind. It's like in the past lives that you've shared and you've shared many. You weren't given this opportunity, which is why it's in reverse. It's like you're so preoccupied with other things whatever those other things were differs from different people some like in this picture she's she'd be fighting she'd be fighting in war she'd be protecting her friends family village what have you and you just weren't given this moment maybe you didn't give it a chance to work through your shit and just be at peace. What is full group three? What can I tell group three? Tell group three. Self-worth. You've seen a lot of threes and twos. Invisible. Fragment. It's like you've never really seen them, never like fully looked at them. here and love maybe you felt they were keeping something secret the moon like in tarot means something hidden something suppressed so you didn't give yourself to them didn't you know give your heart to them fully open up or allow the whatever was going to happen to happen keep in mind this is general so might not it everyone's story is different 
and always trust your intuition. This is a fire. Passion, creativity. This is the phoenix burning, rising from the ashes. What would be the outcome if you did give them a chance? Understanding so peace, resolution. Resolution? Mm -hmm. Peaceful resolution to the understanding to the situation. <laughs> what else would happen? Go for tarot now. What would happen if the three gave their person keeps showing up a chance? Maybe. Cards don't want to shuffle. Happen if group three give their person a chance. Happen if group three give their person a chance. Got a knight of pentacles. The slowish knight. There's too many. So he'd be offering you something but very slow very hesitant probably been could be hiding how fucked up he she truly is it could be an aries that we're dealing with or solid foundation steady footing you have very grounded relationship person situation You'd see that darkness. It could be substance abuse or it could be a Capricorn. Well, what can't you see? I'm in the middle of a reading. So it could be some kind of substance abuse. It could be control issues. Give you something negative that you don't like or just something you don't like it's not going to be any they're going to be honest about what's happening yeah. what else can i tell them some kind of decision to make what decision Well, they could to continue being uh, financially just out of single ladies, you know. And use Han for the other one, okay. So either be spending independent or what else? Flight is like new beginnings, opening their hearts, exploring new opportunities and such. Awakening to new things. This situation is just calling for you to go with the flow and see where it goes because something was not concluded. Something needs to be, needs to happen to. It's the neighbor, dude. Calm. <sighs> this situation has to play out so we can move on from it. Else. Let go, let go, let it go, and high priestess of earth. Being drawn to Roman sandals now. What you want to bet? Let go of control. She's coming out. Group three. Can I tell group three what else do they need to know? How would it end? What would be the end result for group three? And that's what for group three. Make friends help you. That's too many. It is all for group three. New love. Forgiving and learning. And 
past life relationship. Cards speak for themselves, okay? <laughs> New love, true love, past life relationship, forgiving and learning. If friends help you. With that in the situation, you could be getting new friends because they could be your best friend. And uh, gestures. So just let it play out. If this is resonating. And you're like, yeah, maybe I should give it a shot. Maybe you should give their darkness a chance. Maybe our de inner demons will, you know, sit down and have poker or drinks or some shit. There's never going to be, like, a f every, every person is light and dark. Everyone has their inner demons. Everyone's going to have something that you don't like. Love, unconditional love, is about accepting all of that. Accepting or learning to compromise. Yeah. Shouldn't be giving advice on single. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Okay, one yellow card to end it. But can I, no, no, the feather fell. Group three. Can I tell group three? Can I tell group three? To end it. What else do they need to know? Guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So, if you've been seeing the number synchronicities and you know everything is lining up and shit's just working out and you feel right and shit about the situation, you're. Uh, <sighs> Words. <laughs> your guides are with you and supporting you. Time for you to clear your mind out and what was your first impression of them? Their eyes when you saw them. What happened? Their smile. What was it? Clear out all the other shit and focus on that because you got a golden opportunity here. And infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all your tomorrows. And on the bottom endings and beginnings. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. I think. Probably. Maybe. Thank you for watching. If you want a private reading, one question is a dollar and eleven cents. Three questions, two dollars thirty-three cents goes up from there. I wonder how many people can understand me when I do that. All the details are in the description box below where you can process them at your own pace and you don't have to I talk fast. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a nice day. Bye. Guru four. Why do they keep coming back? What's the thing you need to learn? Guardian Angel engagement trapped that's their two cards that have any good side by side mother earth mother you were called on to help with environmentalism and you got two tarot five of swords three of cups on the sanctuary I know this isn't one of them. In a past life, it's like you were trapped in this engagement. Like you were forced to be engaged. Like, you know back in the old days where you married for money? Where it was okay to marry for money? Think Pride and Prejudice. That's what I'm getting, like... Maybe they were a soldier of some kind in the army or whatever it's called. And like you were from a farm family, farming community farm. You lived on a farm with your family and you, you know, women didn't, weren't allowed to have property so you have to marry and all that bullshit. It's like you were trapped in that situation and it could be playing out in this situation in this life. So 
maybe what you need to learn is you don't nobody is forcing you to do anything you're like eh yeah. this is group 4 I need some this group 4 needs to learn Four needs to learn. Okay, got a story here. Cycles. So I was talking about movement. Move away from those cycles. Denial. Rigid. Also begins to be slow down, Ashley. Could be seeing a lot of threes and fours. 30, 37, 34, 14. And there's a three of cups here. What do you need to learn? The past is the past and there's no denying that. But it's time to move forward into new beginnings, new business, and gotta focus. Focus on what you truly want. You might be scared to step out of your comfort zone, which is them. I don't think it's necessarily a bad relationship with them. But just you were confined, confined, confined and had to for one reason or another. And you, you could be lying to yourself thinking you are we broken free from this, by the way, another three. What else can I tell you? Be honest with yourself. What are you not being honest about? Four needs to learn. Maybe that you are not in the past anymore. And that you're free to make your own decisions. And have a steady, solid foundation without that. Maybe that's what you feel. That without them, you won't gain fulfillment. You won't have a steady solid foundation you could also be dealing with an Aries yeah, it's a five five of cups you yeah you're just focused on the negative here what happened with them past life this life it could be the same cycle happening but you've got opportunities behind you you just gotta turn around you could be having this party situation uh, it's a party situation with new cups new people new union it's just you got to move turn around they're not the only one around you four of wands happy celebration of this new union Or if you still want to be with this person, could be the realization that you it's not the past anymore. And that you can be happy without being forced to be with this person. It's like you've lost your hope, your inspiration for this. Two more from Han. That's two. Vision. Mm 
Trust yourself in your vision, what you see. <laughs> those Both those cards mean vision to me. And a good, really mean vision. I think, yeah, that's intuition. That's what that is. It's time for you to heal the past, break free from these cycles. Well, it cut the cord. You are not in the cycle anymore. Whether you want to be with them or not, it's not the same thing playing out. It's a new life, new beginning. You are alive today. You, are, the past is back there. What can I? Else can I tell group four? What do I need to heal? What's group four I need to heal. Something about your childhood that you still have yet to heal, learn from something. Could be having to do with this person. Could not. You're opening your eyes to new possibilities, new energies. And things are coming to light. This could be why this person has come back. Endings and beginnings. You got to release the old past shit so you can have that union with either this person or someone new. And easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Being drawn to this. And if divine timing shoots out, I'm going to laugh. What? Script four needs to know. That doesn't go there. Had a Han card mixed in with D. What else does group 4 need to know? What does group 4 need to heal, work on? Got harmony and transition. Love. Heal. You just need to heal your love. Heal the love, the harmony, what? Love is not supposed to be forced. Hopefully that was still recording. My phone was dying. Love is not forced. It doesn't have to be forced. It can be in perfect harmony. Got to transition from that place, the past, the cycle, into this healing of love and love, light, peace, harmony, and jets. One last card to end it. It could be love from your childhood. like. Maybe your parents weren't the best. Got a new beginning in the floor. Did you just throw it out the window, your new beginning? Shh. New beginnings. New beginnings. tell you you are a lot stronger than you think you can manifest the hell out of shit and this healing you just have to break free from the cycle it's a hard cycle you are very stuck or you feel very stuck and but trapped is just a mindset freedom is a mindset too it's just a way of thinking if we want to change shit can change it just like that you just got to free up your perspective that's what you have a tight-knit grip on you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality so you are so much stronger than you think you can break from this cycle from this from this mess you have to believe you can I believe you can because I know you can can have a new golden opportunity coming right behind you with those cups that are buried beneath here. You just have to look. And you could just look with a quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Contemplate, heal these areas. It's time to gain your independence back. 
you have to step out on your own and do something that might scare the shit out of you but it'll be worth it because you are an independent person and or you are meant to be it's time for that change this new beginning and new beginnings are scary as hell but they are worth it you just have to take the step One more yellow card. Oh, okay. What else? That's two. Maybe it was this one. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Stand up for your independence. And you could find solace by the bodies of water. And you just gotta focus your intentions. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. You know what to do. You know where you are. You know where you stand. You just scared as hell to get out of and break free and kick that door down. You'd be like, I'm here, bitches. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That is all I have for you. Thank you for watching. If you want a private reading, one question is $1.11. Then all those details are in the description box below. Where you can read them at your own pace and you don't have to try to understand what the fuck I'm saying. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.